Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box of the Freestyle. Uh, it comes with two pieces that we're gonna connect together. And then these are alcohol wipes just to clean the skin. We're gonna start by shaving a nice flat spot for the reader to stick to. Usually I like to use the neck works really well. And um, these are the kind of clippers you wanna use. They're just like typical hair trimmers without the guard on them. So usually it helps to have someone help you hold just to make sure she stays still. And we're just gonna shave like a two by two or three by three square, just enough hair for it to be able to stick. So that should be plenty. And then we're gonna use our alcohol wipes to clean the skin, make sure we get all of the extra hair off. That's a good girl. She's being very brave. Good girl. Okay, so then we're going to put the freestyle together. So it comes in two pieces. We're going to tear this lid off. And you'll see that that has a, a line on it. And then this one twists off. And you'll take this line, line them up together like that, and snap them together. And then it becomes one piece. Now this is the part that's gonna go under her neck. I'm just gonna put a couple drops of tissue glue to help it stick but you do wanna make sure that it's something safe for the skin, not just regular super glue or anything like that. So I'm just gonna do maybe two drops. And then all we do is we turn it over and we're just gonna click it in place. They usually don't react very much at all to this. One, two, three. Good job, babe. And I'll just hold it there for a second to allow the glue to dry and kind of adhere to the skin. And then you just pull it. Sometimes you have to just kind of grip the sensor and peel it off. And that's it. So now it's been placed. Um, I'm gonna put a little wrap on it to help it stay a little bit longer. But once you place it, you're just gonna turn your reader on. I'm just writing a bunch of prescriptions. I think it needs to charge. Oh, there we go. Gonna set it up for the first time. I'm gonna put in a target range for you to keep an eye out for. So this is basically telling you how it works similar to using an alpha track glucose monitor. So that's the only time you're gonna see that. But whenever we place a new sensor, when you hit the power button, it's gonna look like this. You just hit start new sensor and then wave the back of it over just like that. And now it'll be ready in 60 minutes. So in one hour when we go to use it, it'll start giving us readings. And if you want to review old readings, you just go to review history and then you'll be able to see graphs and logs. And that's it.